I promise to be a positive person. I promise to be respectful and responsible for my own learning and behavior. I promise to do my individual best. I promise to demonstrate truth and honesty. I promise to include everyone. Okay, yes. keep going. We are here with some important news and, and celebrations. celebrations. My name is Jaden. My name is JC. Happy birthday this last week to Atlea in KB, February 9th, Molly R in 2A, February 10th, Ari R in February 12th. Our superstar readers this week, 20,000 words, Eli D, second grade, Eli S, second grade, 30,000 words, Abby H in second grade, William H in second grade, 50,000 words, Henry C, second grade, Gaby R, third grade, Kylo M, fifth grade, Greg D, fifth grade, Harlow F, fifth grade, a hundred thousand words. Emmett C, fourth grade. Kai C, fifth grade. Seven hundred fifty thousand words. Eleanor T, fifth grade. Two million words. Logan W, fifth grade. Wow, wow that's, that's awesome. A this is cool. Activity break together as a class today. It's called knee high march. Marching. Place lifting your knee in front of you as high as you can. Count to 20. This will also help you go green if you are feeling a little blue, yellow, or red. Go. Ready? And we're going to count them to a five. Ready? One, One two, two, high, three, three higher, four, four, higher, five. five. Good. Stop. Thank, Thank you for tuning in today to Mini Rapper News. Here are some pictures of second and third grade. Work in their hallways and classroom. And Mr. Kleiber with more to celebrate. Bye. Morning, Garfield Grizzlies. We're going to play a little game right now. It's called Whose Classroom Am I In? And I'm not going to give you too many more hints other than what's right behind me. <laughs> I just sat down and thought, I'm going to play a game. Which classroom am I in? If you look above my head, there's kind of a hint. I just noticed. It's too late. I'm in. This particular game of Whose Classroom I'm In was a super easy game. So if you can't figure it out, 
ask a neighbor. Um, celebrations today, second and third grade. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves started right away right now. Uh, we're going to go start down there when 2A in a particular classroom. I may or may not be in. Who knows? Uh, who wanted to give some pride recognitions to Bree? who always does her best and loves to help her classmates be successful too. Gavin for his perseverance and learning and being a good friend. Abby for jumping right in as an active community member in our classroom and Xavier for his creativity and sense of humor. Basil for her positivity and leadership in our learning adventure and to her entire class. So to my entire class says Mrs. Wright for loving a good story, taking care of each other and trying your best even when it's a new challenge. Just across the wall there um, to Mrs. Wyman in 2B. Her peer nomination, so you guys voted for each other, which is really, really cool. Uh, for pride and positivity, Judah S. For respect and responsibility, Zayden R. For individual best, Chanel M. For demonstrating truth and honesty, Aiden M. And for including everyone, Abby H. and Izzy J. Congratulations to those folks and a shout out from Mrs. Wyman to the entire class for a great day of fun and learning while filling our hearts with art last week. And finally, end of the hallway there for Mrs. Jackson in 3A. I would like to recognize my entire class for working hard each and every day. For positivity and, um, uh, yeah, positivity, Solvay is always smiling and encouraging her classmates. Respect and responsibility, Jaden A. is always respectful towards his classmates and his teachers. For including everyone, uh, no, excuse me, individual best, Riley always tries his best and works hard every day. For demonstrating truth and honesty, Atticus acts with integrity each day. For including everyone, Pearl is a good friend to all her classmates. Keep up the hard work, Team Jackson. I want to take a moment and just discuss two things real fast. One is to seriously encourage you on 5210 Plus. Our uh, news anchors, um, uh, JC and and Jaden. Yep, Jaden. Um, Talk to you about 5210 plus, just making sure and encouraging you to be active with that calendar and be sure that you're filling it out so that we can submit them at the end of the month and reach that 80% goal of participation. 80%. That is, I think that's totally, completely, absolutely doable. So help us out in doing that. Um, I want to discuss for a moment what's coming Monday. Monday, you know, you see me, I'm doing this Friday wrap up without my mask on. Um, and come Monday, uh, our Larimer County and our school district will have shifted um, their policy on masks. It'll become, you know, um, a, recommend, a recommended choice to wear a mask or not wear a mask. But it's that perfect moment, Monday. What is Monday? It's Valentine's Day, right? And where in our pride rules do we talk about um, how we include everyone, right? It's the last E. We include everyone. So here at Garfield, when it comes to Valentine's Day, yes, Valentine's Day is about spreading love. Uh, but here, I really want to key in on that idea of including everyone, how we're a community here, how we take care of each other here, um, how we make sure that every grizzly feels a part of our family. And so I want to remind you that, you know, you and your family will will get together and decide um, what's best for you in terms of uh, what to do Monday and throughout the rest of the year. But what I want to assure you from your principal, from your teachers and from all the classmates around you right now, um, that you are family always, no matter what. OK, and so uh, come Monday and for the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about things that will help us be the best family possible, starting with that issue of bullying. Um, that is something that I can stand up uh, and say in front of you, and I know you would, too. Bullying does not belong in our school. And so there are lots of things that we can do to support each other, to keep it out, to stop it if it starts. And we'll talk more about those in the weeks to come. Um, but I'm, I'm committing to you and I want you to commit right back to me right now that bullying has no place at Garfield and we're going to take some incredible action in the month of February to make sure that that stays true. Okay, we're going to close out today now. Um, we have uh, a couple of boys that paid for the ability to cut off Mr. Kleiber's tie. So enjoy that as the close out of this video. Have a fabulous Friday, my, my dear friends, and we'll see you in the hallways, the cafeteria, and the classrooms. Bye, guys. I am here with third, uh, third graders Dylan and Ethan who have paid for the right to cut off my beautiful ties, uh, which of course Mrs. Kleiber will not be happy about. I'm sorry Mrs. Kleiber, they did it. Okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> Dylan does. Alright, now remember, uh, I've got the music going on behind us here, so be excited. Kids in the classroom, be excited and celebrating for them. Yeah. This is a big honor, we're going to get a picture in the hallway. Which tie do you want, by the way? Okay, and <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. I said, hey, 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 hey,
Friday just to be in honor of you. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Cut.